Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be introducing you to the Buddy World Content Pack for Crazy Talk Animator 2. So we're going to be learning how to create some custom cool characters like this and uh, create your own scene and a little bit to do with animation as well. So let's take a look at what's included in this pack. I'm going to go to my uh, browser here and you can see we have Buddy's, uh, Buddy World, Buddy's World in the content store. Uh, it comes with a bunch of uh, different ca uh, custom character outfits. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different outfits, 13 in all in total. As you can see here, and uh, there's buddy faces as well, so you can create like this buzz cut dude, jerry curls, and afros. And then down here we have the scenes and props. So there's 163 props, so tons of different uh, stylized props, which I'll show you. And then there's buddy actions, which are, you know, there's 165 specialized 2D motions just for these uh, characters, as well as 99 perform files. And then you also have the buddy templates, which are included, which you can use in Flash to create your own custom characters really easily. And you can check out our tutorial on the avatar creation for that stuff. So let's close down our browser right now. I'm going to start up a new project. We're going to start from scratch. I'm going to show you a little bit about the scenes and the props in this uh, pack. So let's go to the scene tab over here on the right. And in scene, you have the uh, Buddy Plaza folder right here. And you can see there's all kinds of cool stuff like the uh, bedroom for this kid, uh, some random kid. There's a uh, nice looking classroom here as well. Uh, this community. Uh, if I zoom out by holding the alt key and both mouse buttons, you can see it a little bit better. And then there's also, you know, the community at night. So there's a, you know, different color scheme. You have some lights every and everything. Uh, and there's a community with snow as well. And in addition to all that stuff, we have, you know, like the living room down here. Uh, there's, you know, parks and restaurants. Oh, that one's a little bit smaller, so we can zoom in on that one. And then there's, uh, you know, restaurants and school hallways. So basically there's a scene for uh, any sort of scenario that you can possibly imagine. Maybe not every scenario, but there's quite a few anyways. So there's the school hallway, and uh, we'll go back to the community because that's the uh, scene I'm going to be using for the rest of this tutorial. So I'm just going to double-click on that community, and it'll load up the whole scene. Now we also have the op option to uh, change the render style of this community as well if we want. Um, so all we need to do is go down to the Scene Manager and select this scene item here, and that'll select everything in the scene. And then we can go over here to Render Style, and we can change the render style to, like, you know, Retro or... Uh, neon or something cool like that pop art some of these are pretty interesting looking we'll just leave it at default for now i just wanted to show you the render style compatibility and so let's open up our content manager here and what i'm going to do is show you the props now so in the props folder uh we also have another buddy plaza subfolder and there's bedroom props there's bonus props classroom community props so pretty much all the props you, you saw in those scenes those pre-assembled scenes can be found here so if I wanted to add any of those to our scene, I can just go ahead and do that. You know, go to the park, for example. Maybe spice up this, uh, you know, city with a little bit of vegetation. We'll just drag this uh, nice looking tree in here. And you can see it's behind the window. All we need to do to make it in front of the window is take this little gizmo on the uh, bottom here and drag it forward. And then we can resize our tree. We can make it more like urban sized. Something like that will do. And then I can, you know, add something else like a bench. Maybe there's a bench in this uh, folder as well. We'll just click and drag that down here, and uh, we'll put it. Uh, we can put it in front of the tree or behind the tree. Um, I think that's okay. And if you're having trouble, you know, getting it in the right position, you can just go to the 3D view up here and click the 3D view, and then hold the Alt key and the right mouse button, and you can pan around like this. So if I wanted that tree to be a little bit more further forward, I can select it, and boom, there we go. So the tree is a little bit further forward on the z-axis. Doesn't really make a difference, but I can, you know, take this bench and move it forward as well and backwards. Okay, cool. That's enough uh, messing around with the 3D view. So we have this nice bench in the tree. I'm no CD planner, but that's all we're going to do for the props. What I'm going to focus on next is customizing your characters. So let's go to the actor tab, and I'm going to go to the uh, template uh, tab right here. And under the character folder, we have these uh, this buddy build subfolder, and we have this little naked uh, buddy base dude. I'm going to drag him into my scene. And when he loads up, uh, we can just uh, you know zoom in a little bit. Now, when you resize these guys, you need to resize them in the scene view, or rather stage mode, which is the uh, mode that we're in right now on the bottom left. Because uh, <laughs> he's behind the bench as well there. Uh, when, you, when you resize them, um, the motions for these characters are absolute. So if you resize them in the character composer, your animations might be a little bit wacky. And uh, just trust me on that. Just uh, if you're going to resize these guys, resize them in, in stage mode. You don't need to worry about uh, the composer mode. So we'll just keep this guy, you know, relatively small size. And let's go to the composer. And once we've loaded up our composer, uh, this character is super small. So let's zoom in on him again. And what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, gussy him up with all sorts of different stuff. So we'll go to the uh, heads, uh, head tab over here. 
I'm going to give him a different face. So we have the buddy faces folder. Let's give him a double chin. And there's all sorts of, you know, different faces. You can combine faces with other packs as well, including the, uh, you know, brows. If you want to even browse, we can give him these nice round brows. We're going to transform this guy into a, an old ugly dude. So say, for example, you know, here I wanted to go to uh, one of these, take one of these eyes and just, you know, double click this I07. You can see we almost have this uh, anime style look. If I wanted to, uh, you know, you know, move the eye up or reposition it, we can we can do that as well. So you can combine all the different packs. I believe this is from the uh, Power Pack Volume Two, or yeah, probably Volume Two. So I'll just Control Z that a few times. Just wanted to show you that you can, you know, they're compatible with, um, you know, other Power Packs as well. We'll just give this guy the old exhausted eyes. We're gonna make him into like an old kind of uh, dorky looking man. So there's his exhausted eyes. We'll go to his uh, nose and buddy faces. We'll give him the uh, Zappa beard, which is the beard of champions. And after you've got the Zappa beard, we can go to the uh, mouth and let's give him an aged mouth. So he's not looking too good so far. We can, uh, you know, put the finishing touches on by going down to hair and buddy faces. And we'll give him a nice uh, stylish fedora just by double clicking that. Now it may take, some, may take some time for some of these to load in because it's actually loading in all the sprites for the different angles as well. So it may take a little bit of a longer time for some of you there as well. So let's go to the uh, body tab here. And in the body tab, these characters are very simple. They don't have a lower body. They just have a one single body part. So if I go to buddy build over here, let's give this guy, you know, we can give him a dress or we can give him a sweater vest. Let's just give him this tank top. Keep it classy. There you go, he's got his nice uh, outfit on, and then we can go ahead and add some shoes in there as well. So under shoes, buddy build, we'll just add these boots. So there's our first character, and that's all we're going to do with this guy. I'm going to go back to the stage here, and let's add in another character just for fun. So I'm going to take the buddy base down here. And you can see this character is already a little bit larger. We can maybe scale this guy down a slight bit, so he's not so uh, super large. And then I'll take this uh, character, and we'll customize this character as well. So let's do the same thing, except we'll uh, maybe change this character to, uh, you know, some sort of female character. So I'm going to go to uh, head, we'll go to the uh, faces, and I'm going to use this heart-shaped face. There you go, it looks a bit more feminine already. It could be just, uh, you know, female, or it could be a guy with a pointy chin. We'll just uh, change these to the slim um, eyebrows right now. And if we want a female-looking character, we need to, of course, change the eyes. So let's go to buddy faces, and let's use the long lashes. And then for the uh, nose... Um, I think we can just leave the nose alone. Uh, the, the nose is actually non-existent at this point. Let's just go ahead and add the mouth. Uh, some red lips will be good. So are we making a female character? I guess so. Uh, we'll just, you know, leave it to your imagination. And then we have the, uh, let's, you know, use some, there's a, oh, a headband right there. There we go. So let's add that headband in. There we go. And then we'll just, uh, you know, quickly go over to the body and add an upper body, uh, buddy build right here, uh, body, buddy build, and add this nice, uh, Sailor Moon outfit in. There you go. So it could be, you know, a male cosplayer, it could be a female, who knows? Uh, and then we need to add the shoes in finally. We'll go to the shoes and we'll just add in this typical Mary Jeans. All right. And we're all done. So just, uh, keep in mind that, uh, you know, buddy build doesn't have lowers. This, there's a dummy for the lower, and we'll talk more about that in separate tutorials, how you can animate that character. So I'm going to go back to the stage right now. And if you like your character, you really like the way your character's turned out, you can uh, save them to your uh, content manager. So select your character, go to custom, and then just go use this plus button over here. And we'll call this guy, I don't know, uh, something like Big Bob. Big Bob sounds like a good name. And then this one, we can do the same thing. Just press the plus button over there. And we'll call this character Cosplay Guy. I've decided it's a guy now that just looks like a girl. So we're gonna, we have these two characters, and I can just um, replace these characters on the screen with the custom characters that I've created already. Uh, we have a big green dude over here, so I'm going to take this big green dude and uh, drag him over to our cosplay guy, and that's just going to replace the uh, character right there. You can see it stays the same size. And I'll take uh, Captain A, or Captain America, and click and drag him on this character, and then he'll replace that guy as well. So we need to probably swap the sizes here since the Hulk is... Not supposed to be mini Hulk, so we'll just kind of, you know, stretch him up like that. We need to bring him forward on the Z-axis there as well. So we're going to have a little bit of back and forth with these two characters uh, just to demonstrate the uh, animation in just a sec. But I want to show you the uh, facial animation capabilities as well first. So if we go to like our uh, 
Actually, let's bring in the uh, cosplay guy here just to kind of demonstrate uh, his facial animation as compared with the other characters. So we got our three uh, happy looking characters on the screen here. And let's go to the uh, puppet uh, tool over here and you can toggle between facial and body puppet by using this button on the top left. And keep in mind that this profile on the left, this tune profile, is most suitable for these uh, buddy world characters since it's you know fairly customized for them. So you have all sorts of different profiles here, like the uh, happy profile. You can press the space key to preview, and you see we have a nice happy look like that. This one's a you know kind of a scared look, and uh, we have kind of you know weird expression on her face right there. And then there's a you know smiley, which is pretty typical. And I think this one is uh, angry, so we have you know the scolded angry look. And then we can just, you know, close this down. We can go to our, uh, you know, Hulk character. This is the custom character that I created. And I can go to the, do the same thing. He also has a happy profile like this. Ah, and then, uh, you know, if he's a uh, super smiley, like, whoa. Um, you know, all sorts of different uh, looks for your character. And these are all the different facial sprites. I'm um, just kind of demonstrating the facial sprites that are included in the facial sprite library. And in addition to that, uh, your, your basic characters that are included in the pack will have some, uh, some hand sprites as well, some unique looking hand sprites. So if I took this female character, for example, and I uh, zoomed in on her and went to my sprite editor on the left hand side, if we selected her hand, you can see there's all the typical hand sprites, but there's also hands like holding items like this, like a lollipop or a walking stick or a snack. So you can, uh, you know, use those as well with your regular sprite editing, which is pretty cool. We've never really done that before. Let's just go ahead and close that down. I'm going to start my uh, interaction between my two characters. So let's delete uh, Cosplay Guy. And let's focus on Hulk and Captain America. So these two characters are kind of just, you know, standing on the street. And we want to have them interact uh, to demonstrate the motions that are included in this pack. So the first motion that I'm going to, you know, add into here is Captain America. We're going to go to Animation. And we have these Perform Motions. So if I double click on the Perform folder, there's the Buddy Action subfolder. And then we have like uh, emotion and talk, we have interaction, we have move around and perform. I think in perform there's a nice one that's called fart uh, from S. And notice that uh, on the top left corner there, the uh, angle number, that indicates the angle number. Uh, 270 degree profile, 0 degree, 270. So like I mentioned, all these motions are 2D motions that are specifically for these characters. So let's go ahead and do this uh, fart uh, 270 from the side. So, boop, ah, oh, that feels good. And Hulk, obviously not too pleased about that, is we're going to select him. And I think there is a perform called So What somewhere here as well. So there's a So What from the 0 degree and a So What from the 270 degree. So after he does that, let's go ahead and click that. It's like, hey, what was that about? And you know, Hulk doesn't take too kindly to be to being farted on. So he's going to go ahead and uh, use it. We're going to go to the uh, interaction folder. Actually, we're going to go to the motion folder up here. And under 2D motion, you can find the buddy action uh, motions that don't have facial expression. So these perform motions all have facial expression, but the buddy action ones under the 2D motions do not. So we'll go to interaction over here and there should be a slap somewhere down here. And I'm going to PQRS. These are all in alphabetical order, by the way. So there's a slap 270. So we'll go ahead and, you know, apply that slap 270. So he's slapping in the, in the back of the head. But before we do that, so maybe about, uh, after he says, Hey, what I want to do is take uh, captain here and I want to use the right bracket key to rotate him, uh, rotate his angle profile to this direction. So then he'll go from here to here, like that, just dunk, dunk, like that. And that's again the right bracket key or the left bracket key to rotate him around. So let's say, hey, and slap him. So when he's getting slapped at about, uh, you know, here, uh, try and get that right here. There we go. At about here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the captain here and I'm going to use the slapped 90 degrees. So I'll just go ahead and uh, double click that and doom, just like that. So that's what we have so far. We have the, you know, bam, just like that. And then how does the captain react? He's going to get a little bit angry. So he's going to go ahead and use this. Uh, I think the angry one is up here. There's just too many folders, too many emotions in this darn thing. I think maybe it's in the emotion and talking. So let's go over here. There we go. Angry to the side. So, you know, captain's going to be angry, but we're cl double clicking this. So it's going to do the uh, motion, but his eyes are going to stay the same. We're going to fix that later on. So he gets angry. And then Hulk's going to go over and give him some comfort. So then we have the, uh, what I want, to, want him to do is jump over there. So we're going to use this move around uh, folder. And there is a jump. So a zero degree jump. So boing, just like that. But what we want to do is we want him to jump over to where the captain is. So I'm going to press F3 and go into my timeline. We're going to do a little timeline animation here, a little timeline magic. So let's open up our 2D motion track. And let's open up our transform track. And this, this is where you can see the Hulk jumping. So, you know, we have him just kind of, Right here, when he's about to jump, 
what I want to do is add a transform key here. So I can just double click in the transform track and that'll add a transform keyframe and then so when he's at the peak of his jump, we can move him, you know, a little bit up and over like that. And then when he lands, so about there, we can have him land a little bit closer to the captain. And you can see down here, that's the uh, kind of uh, path which he's following there. And it's kind of linear right now. We want to switch that from linear uh, by going up here, linear to curved. And now he's going to kind of bounce a little more uh, curved before he would just go straight up and straight down. But now he's going to do something like this. So like that. So bounce a little bit over, not too much. Maybe something like that. We can maybe even make him a little bit further over. Just like that. And then we can... So there he is bouncing over like that. And then he's going to comfort the captain. So we have uh, the interaction. I think there's a comfort uh, comfort one here. There you go. Zero degree comfort. Make sure that you uh, pay attention again to the... Uh, well, he's kind of rubbing his face right now. I think what we need to do is uh, when he's bouncing over there on his last transform key, we need to have him... Uh, behind the captain. So let's do that. Uh, whoops, not too far. There we go. So we'll just bounce over like that and then there we go and comfort the captain. And then maybe when the captain, when he's about to comfort him, the captain will just kind of switch over his, uh, so we're going to use the left bracket key again here and whoops, went too far there. So, and uh, then we'll figure out what the captain's going to do after that. But what I want to do is fix the facial emotion right now. So let's go back to the beginning and so we have this captain just, you know, farting on, on the Hulk. And then, hey, what are you doing, man? Slap. And when we get slapped, what I want to do is we want to have his face sprites change. So as soon as he, you know, changes his uh, face to the right-hand side here, uh, what I want to do is uh, take the timeline and you, so about here, uh, right at that frame. We can also, like, scrub through the timeline as well. So here, what I want to do is take both his eye sprites and change them by using the sprite editor over here. And so we can take the face and go to the eyes, and then I want to have these eyes closed in an angry way, just like that. And we can use that same one for the, over here. And then his mouth, we can select the mouth, and his mouth can be just like, ooh. So we're just getting slapped like, boom, like that. And then he kind of, um, you know, brings his eyes back to normal. So we'll have his eyes like this, and he'll be angry, I guess. This eye will be angry as well. And his face will be like, uh, or his mouth will be like, Arr! not too happy about being slapped just like that. And then, Arr! and he gets angry. The Hulk doesn't seem to care. But then the Hulk, you know, bounces over and says, it's okay, buddy. So about here, he's going to, uh, you know, whoops, we need to select the Hulk first. The Hulk is going to be uh, happy. So he's going to try and, you know, comfort the captain. So smiley right there, smiley right there. I need to change his mouth to something like a stretch lip like this. There you go. There's the comforting uh, face that we all know. There you go. It's all good, buddy. And then the captain, you know, changes his expression here. We'll change his eyes to uh, smiley as well. He's smiley. And we'll change his mouth to something like this mouth. I like this mouth right here. He's like, ah, oh, that's just great. So there you go, buddy. Ah. Uh, and then uh, what will the captain do after that? Well, the captain, of course, needs to get his revenge. So we have uh, another go to the content manager and we'll go to perform and we'll get on to the P's down here. I don't know, P. And, you know, captain doesn't take his apology and just decides to, you know, do something on his uh, foot. And what happens after that? Does Hulk get angry? I don't know. You can, uh, you know, figure that out on yourself. Do some interaction, um, you know, by yourself using all those different uh, motion clips and have fun with that. So that's about it for this part of the tutorial. Uh, in the next part of this tutorial, we're going to deal with some uh, more advanced animation. So if you're up for that kind of stuff, uh, make sure you check that out. We also have our tutorial for the uh, character uh, avatar customization uh, for Buddy World, where I show you how to create the Hulk character. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.